So welcome, guys. We are on our eighth session of the game plan series. Uh, today, you know, I have a lot of uh, content. I hope we have enough time to discuss it. We will also discuss what what we've been able to achieve from the past week. Uh, there were some very interesting stocks that uh, we discussed. We'll see their performance. We also uh, talked about certain themes um, that came out. How are they spanning out? Are there more themes for you to consider? Is there any more news? that you should be aware of all that is coming up in today's game plan series as always um, we'll start with by the way this is me so uh, just in case uh, for those who are new today um, i i carry 20 years of experience in this business research arena and i like to talk about i work around indian and us stocks so if you are keen on us stocks also we can separately have discussions around it uh, essentially my background is from NDTV. So if, if you see some commonalities, I'm talking like a news anchor. I think that's part of that training that I have received in the past. So guys, uh, with that, let me jump into disclaimer. Disclaimers is uh, in short saying that whatever we discuss today is for education purpose only. We are not giving out any recommendations that are directly applicable to you. We are simply talking about what I am doing, what let's say Divakar is doing, what themes we are feeling is uh, going to take you know happen or shape up in our country ultimately you have to do your own analysis how to do analysis that's a totally different discussion we do it in our courses and all but for today i would I want you to just say out your name and i agree so starting with you abhishek hi i'm abhishek Anil, and i agree thank you Ane? i am anay and i agree Devakar. Devakar Rajsekaran, I agree. Thank you. Gandharf. Gandharf, I agree. Thank you, Hitesh ji. Hello, I'm Dr. Hitesh Chawla. Yeah, you just need to say I agree with your name. I agree with you. Okay. Shalanda ji. I Shand Shukla, I agree. Thank you, Shivai. Why I agree? Thank you, guys. So uh, let's let's dive in. Uh, sorry, before I uh, start my discussion, Divakar, is there something you wanted to add? Like I heard something while we were starting the presentation. No, not not at this moment. Thank All you. right. All right. So, guys, we're going to have a view. In fact, let me uh, not follow this structure, but let's go back from what we had in previous weeks. You remember, for those at least who joined uh, last week, uh, there were these kind of talk stocks that we had been discussing. And uh, Godrej consumer product is something I clearly mentioned last time that I'm seeing uh, that the stock has reached a, a demand zone. And previously, somewhere I think last year, May, I mentioned when the new CEO was announced, the stock had jumped up. And this is how it moved. You can follow my mouse. And it had come back here again. So last week we said that there is a possibility of another jump or a move. 8% jump we have seen this week itself. One week, 8% jump. We also talked about Rallies India. Rallies India again jumped to 9% this week. So uh, overall, you know, these stocks which we discussed in depth, I think, are showing some good results. Others, uh, if you recall, we had discussed Delphi. Delphi has been amazing. If you recall. Uh, remember, Delphi is into the forex business. Uh, so as international trades, uh, sorry, international movement happens, people start traveling, they'll take for a foreign exchange. So this happened somewhere at the end of March or 1st of April. Again, a new move has come on Friday uh, to the extent of 10%. So this, I think, is a very good pattern if you are uh, looking for some more growth. Delphi is a good example here. We said BLS, again, related to uh, international travel. BLS as a company that provides visas. If you see this week, just the week that has gone by, and let me show you the weekly performance, 32% jump. That's amazing. And that's coming with good volumes. And it's making a new high. So whatever we've been discussing, I think... Uh, you know, we follow the news, we follow the themes, we see what's happening around with us, what is our uh, change in behavior. And I think this is a reflect reflection of what are the stocks that are benefiting out of that. And do you benefit? Depends on whether you 
invest on them or not. So Delphi, BLS, Godrej Consumer Products. Uh, we also looked at Hero Motor, HUL, which have shown, I think, 4 to 5% jump here. Adani, Wilmer, and Tata Power. So remember, Divakar, we were having a discussion around the power sector and all. I think uh, clearly power sector is not stopping you know, its growth trajectory. Uh, you see Tata Power moved up like crazy. Uh, this particular week, 9% on one day and then another 6%. Of course, some profit booking is coming in. Uh, if you see Adani Power also probably, in fact, all Adani stocks uh, seem to be jumping up like crazy. So our, I, I would say power sector continues to be uh, quite good. We also said there's some movement in uh, fertilizer stocks. Uh, the GSFC and RCF, which also you know turned out to be quite good. So overall, uh, most of the stocks discussed for the cash market seem to have jumped and given us good returns. We uh, last time discussed that agri commodities are supposed to be doing good. Um, one of the commodities that fared out very very well last week is sugar. So I wanted to highlight this very uh, I would say interesting move in sugar stocks. So what's driving the sugar stocks? Uh, you will be happy to know that uh, there is a rise in the international prices of sugar and that's because of a shortage expected from Brazil and Thailand, uh, which are the other two big producers in the world of, for sugar. And then uh, with the rising crude prices, uh, the government has already announced that the ethanol blending, which is a byproduct from sugarcane processing, uh, the ethanol blending in petrol, or oil will start from 2025 rather than 2030. So overall, that's uh, what's triggering the growth in sugar stocks. One other stock, oh, sorry, one particular stock in this arena is Renuka Sugars, which has shown tremendous growth. So I just wanted to highlight, this is how the sugar stocks were growing on 6th of April. This is how they were growing on 7th of April. But one of them, Renuka, uh, went up close to 8.7% on 6th and 20% on 7th. And why was that happening? It is, by the way, one of, uh, it is the largest sugar and ethanol producer in our country. And there is discussion that Adani group is going to take over. And I think it's a pro probably a very logical move because currently the parent company is Wilmer Singapore, which is the same Adani Wilmer, um, I would say relationship. So if Adani takes over Renuka sugars from Wilmer, I think the market really loves such actions because anything coming under Adani, you know, is pretty, pretty good. Uh, jumping, you know, uh, most I would say operators are pushing Adani stocks, whether it is in power, transmission, energy, uh, ports, commodities, everything that flows in. I think Adani is the leader and it's more recently entered the, I would say, elite club of $200 billion. So this is one news which you probably can take advantage if you see the the chart for renuka sugar the so volume has come in this is the jump in uh, renuka sugars and how it's going to span out i think that's uh, something we need to see if we do the technical analysis or if uh, we talk about some fundamentals right now the jumps are very very uh, promising uh, with the volume that has come in. Uh, anybody having any view on this market, the sugar market or commodity in agri commodities in general? Anybody uh, doing any research? Uh, Divakar, any thoughts on this one? So I think uh, so. It's a very cyclical industry. So it yeah. goes through, you know, one season. If sugar, there is a shortfall in sugar, mm -hmm. stocks keep rising, but then the next two or three uh, seasons you might not see the same thing right so yeah uh, probably it should it should remain bullish for the next one year mm -hmm. uh, right and plus this monsoon season or at least for the next six months i think um, it should remain bullish and then yeah. uh, next year you will hear that sugar is in over capacity and you know oversupply and all that stories will come so and so that, that's very... regular consumption right does regular by with ethanol uh blending do you think over capacity still would be a problem because renuka this is just look at this jump uh last time around 
when they announced capacity expansion this was in june 21 this is how the stock responded uh, the market responded right and now even if there is buzz around uh, adani taking over uh, it's continuing its trajectory and there's a lot of room for growth if you see uh, earlier in 2010 the previous commodity cycle the stock was close to 122 right now it's less than half of that yeah yeah so i think if if it's bullish then it will probably look at conquering that highs in the next 6 months so sugar is um, the what will happen is when sugar prices shoots up right so everybody will start planting sugar cane um mm-hmm. over supply then comes in mm. and sugar is like a you know sort of like a 8 to 12 months kind of a crop mm-hmm. um, right so once and and then once you plant sugar uh, sugar cane uh it lasts for 3 years as in you you can keep harvesting it for 3 years you know sort of a thing right um so yeah so now what will happen is everybody will go and plant sugar cane um so till that time i think it's a at least for the next 6 to 12 months i see uh this trend to continue i'm really not a buyer of the ethanol uh i mean ethanol keeps happening right it's it will keep happening it's not like a suddenly but what usually happens is suddenly when oil prices goes up mm. um everybody will have this ethanol craze uh, tomorrow if oil is at say 70 dollars nobody will care about ethanol but it's still happening <laughs> in the sense uh, the blending still keeps happening it's just that the cost of procuring sugar and um, ethanol increases so then okay. uh, you know so uh, yeah i think it's safe to say that Uh, for the next six months at least uh, let's put it even three months three months we have a pro- possible swing trade happening in these sugar stocks and yeah if Re- renuka gets acquired if there is more story around adani uh, you know uh, picking that stake i think that's going to keep pushing these stocks yeah. right so i think you should also look at uh, companies which um, help in setting up these ethanol factories like praj industries or something mm, like mm. that mm-hmm. right so yeah they're providing the machinery for all this stuff right yeah, uh, yeah. already already quite high if I'm, i'm just looking at the monthly picture right now uh let's quickly keep a check on the rsi and all yeah there is some scope on praj um yeah but i maybe think lost you missed yeah, the, the major the major move is gone i mean if you see the performance it's quite good uh giving us green quarters every time and the pe ratio is also very high by now so i'm not too sure if that's the right moment but yes we'll keep a watch on these stocks essentially uh you know if you are if you are keeping track of certain stocks in google or if you want to uh just uh, you know mark some alerts um, this these i would say these are the kind of stocks that you should if you have trading view it's very easy if you are simply uh, adding it to your google finance that's also pretty easy all we're saying is uh, Re- renuka if if you are uh, if you are seeing how these guys are developing um, the fibonacci is right now telling me that the stock is stuck somewhere at a level which uh, it needs to now pass and let me show you the bigger picture here from a monthly view i guess that would help if you have done uh, gan if you have done fibonacci it's right now six, sitting at 0.618 and the peak level starting from 122 if it crosses this uh, which is basically this monthly supply i you know i would say that there's a lot of scope let's say if 65 is the level even a jump from 45 to 65 is pretty good so if this news continues if this volume continues in the stock um you know the the next target is actually getting out of this blue color zone and hitting 80 so let's let's it i mean uh, if if you're a avid watcher of the stock market at least this kind of moves you can capture and enjoy the gains so that's a trend which i thought is worth sharing given that we have been talking about commodity in the previous session um i want to also Blend- share yes Chandra this was with the sugar thing now with the question you asked earlier with mr devakar is mm-hmm. correct because the, the government plan is still 20 to 2025 five year plan yeah 
and they have to increase this import uh, the export in the quality of development to 20% yeah but what the worker is saying that look at least for the next 2 3 years if uh, oil prices are still down maybe these stocks mm. are not no there is a substitute for that this is a substitute for that but uh, going back to our previous theme divakar ultimately we are saying uh, india wants to reduce its uh, you know input or sorry import uh, cost you know at the end of the day so whether investing in power or whether investing in ethanol helps reduce that oil bill in general yes, i think that's the point that's, that's where point. our country is moving and i think that's a fair mm-hmm. thing to do right so if if uh, go see on russia now we are only depending by 1% of oil and that too also we are taking it on rebate of 25% yeah so these are Just basically term. saudi maximum is saudi which uh, they are uh, they are can highlight on it so that is the point yeah i'm pretty confident if this is going to happen adani is in the lead in doing this because if you see where adani is you know adani transmission adani renewable adani power yes renewable is the point yeah. oh, everything you know i think adani has got a very solid grip and it's a part of the new infrastructure story that india is developing and i have no doubt that adani and modi ji are working in tandem you know to develop the country because that's how i would say the switch is going to happen our import bill needs to reduce correct import bill needs to be reduced that's the fact Make sense, Tivakar, or any other thoughts before we move on to the next? Yeah, yeah I think it makes sense. Uh, exactly. Okay. According to expectations. Yeah. So, we, yeah. Even if we say that there are these short-term swings, I think there is some long-term uh, two to three-year uh, cycle that we can enjoy at least till 2025. Maybe sugar stocks. Whoever increases, keep a watch on who's doing capex, who is expanding capacity in this area. uh if that is the kind of news you are reading i think uh, you can take advantage of the stock jumps happening in that um moving on there's another news sri lanka crisis and it gives an opportunity for indian tea manufacturing companies not too many and not too big actually apart from let's say tata consumers um uh, which is and tata coffee basically which is also into tea and coffee you know production uh but apart from that if you see with the stocks that jumped up uh, that is united nilgiri tea jayshree tea if you heard this name and bombay burma bbt uh, i think that's the uh, symbol bombay burma trading is a very old company in this uh, area of plantations and all those thing in south of india they will probably be knowing of that uh, so this is another trend as long as the crisis is going on i don't think sri lanka is able to uh, i would say honor the export uh, contracts that it has already have with the western world so there's that demand is going to be fulfilled by some indian companies and those which you are seeing the jump so just look at the jump in jayshree tea i mean it's amazing this week um 17% 11% and maybe the jump is about to come in bombay burma and tata coffee i'm keeping a watch on that if you are excited you'll probably also be able to take benefits of this one um this is a i would say a minor um, theme that i had the other one is uh, the the war has brought in some good prospects for the defense sector and what we are seeing some good deals being signed by some indian companies in this area so if you see how our defense company stocks have moved up in this week i mean bharat dynamics bharat electronics and hal i mean these are the main uh, what's the key names here and look at the move just look at these moves uh, we of course saw some news happening that uh, hal hindustan aeronautics is building some kind of uh, i would say um, change in civil aircrafts that could be used for mid air refueling now i think that's that's quite innovative and if that's the contract they have received uh hal stock is jumping bharat dynamics is jumping um you know on some new opportunities with uae so this is another sector shailendra ji i think you belong to the defense uh, you have some background in that um so aapke matlab ka lag raha hai you're right you're right absolutely right? right now this is going up and they've got a plan for 5 years 
Yes. And they they, they have allotted some budget also to it. I am not clear how much budget is it. It is around five figure, five lakh, five hundred, five thousand or something plus more than that, lakh mm-hmm. crores to right. uh, get the complete thing rolling. As it is, right. the upper limit laid is the indemnization is of sixty eight percent in the budget as it is. It was stated. Then we have to raise to an indemnization to sixty eight percent. Okay. Very good. तो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स ऑफ मेक मेक इन इंडिया भी हो रहा है दूसरी कंट्रीज के साथ टाई अप भी हो रहा है लेट्स से रशिया इज नॉट एबल टू सप्लाई दोस काइंड ऑफ डिफेंस इक्विपमेंट सो मे बी इंडिया इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेफरेंस इज 68% वी हैव टू बी सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट ओके ओके मेनी फैक्ट मेनी वेज वी आर वेरी मच सेल्फ डिपेंडेंट मेनी थिंग्स बट दिस इज मेजरली टेक्नोलॉजी है ये सब टेक्नोलॉजीज है ना बट सर्टेन पार्ट्स सर्टेन पार्ट्स आर स्टिल गेटिंग इंपोर्टेड राइट Right. Uh, we are we are we are not hundred percent. We are we may be ninety six to ninety eight percent in terms of this. Got it. Got it. That's the point. That's the point. So, आपके हिसाब से कौन सा अभी stock फिर लेना चाहिए? Dynamic. हम तो ऐसे उस समय उस समय HCL में थे हम HCL तब भी करते थे देखिए अभी भी HCL is good. HCL HCL will be always up search. आज आज HCL है कहाँ पर? आज HCL है कहाँ पर? HL की स्टोरी यही है कि अभी ऑल टाइम हाई बना ही दिया है इनफैक्ट जब हाँ, से यहाँ पे इस लेवल से इसका ब्रेकआउट हुआ है जब आपके साथ क्लास करते थे हम लोग सर आई थिंक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में तो हम लोग एच एल की बात कर रहे थे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कहा था वो कहां से कहां पहुंच गया 800 700 के लेवल पे होता है ये रहा है जरा टू एंड हाफ टाइम्स यस ऑलरेडी इतना जंप तो दे ही चुका है और अभी भी अच्छी अभी भी अच्छी न्यूज़ आ रही है तो देयर वाज एक्स्ट्रा माइक्रोवेव शायद इस स्टॉक के बारे में सुना है ये इज वन ऑफ द फेवरेट जी सो एक्स्ट्रा माइक्रो इज बेसिकली प्रोवाइडिंग द टेलीकम्युनिकेशन फॉर डिफेंस आई गेस तो अगर ऐसे कुछ स्टॉक्स आप लोगों ने देखने दे आर ऑलरेडी क्वाइट हाई बट अगर अच्छी न्यूज है जैसे शैलेंद्र जी बता रहे हैं देयर इज मोर यू नो वेरी पॉजिटिव डिफेंस सेक्टर तो यू कैन बिकॉज़ एलएनटीज आल्सो एलएनटीज आल्सो देयर नो हम्म हां तो कि दीस थिंग्स हैव टू बी केप्ट इन माइंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डिफेंस प्राइम ऊपर शेयर मार्केट में मूव अप एंड डाउन वो तो होगा कि एकदम से 200 डी में भी होगा तो वो भी तो ऊपर नीचे तो चलेगी राइट सो जी सो अगर कोई भी the theme which is probably setting in i'm not uh, 100% sure we'll probably spend time together and have a look so a thoda sa auto sector mein recovery aa rahi dikhai de rahi hai and uh, the first segment within auto that would probably grow is the commercial vehicles so you could probably see trucks uh, in tempos being you know sold more and if i give you the numbers here what has what has jumped uh, you know if i Uh, just look at the jump from last year february 21 or february 22 ka it's pretty good now you see quite a green set of colors here mahindra being you know in the lead on that one daimler uh, of course uh, but what was different till last time that january se itna acha growth aaya nahi tha so i think that also suggest ki thoda sa uh, covid ka fir se settle ho raha tha and that's why people were not very confident whether we should make the purchase right now or not but the numbers from march are suggesting something very positive um by the way there was a, a reason to believe that this growth is sustainable because there is limited use of semiconductors which is a big challenge for auto market right semiconductors ka uh, availability kafi problematic chal rahi passenger vehicles ke liye but uh, when you see the commercial vehicles they don't use that many semiconductors plus if the economy has to come back on track it cannot happen without you know logistics happening logistics required trucks and commercial vehicles 
uh, growth should be expected. So if you are looking at uh, these numbers, uh, you know, the stocks are also in front of you. Maybe stocks like Ashok Leland uh, should show that kind of a jump. So I am looking at weekly performance. Already thoda sa uptick hume dikh raha hai. In fact, Ashok Leland itna gira bhi nahi tha. Since uh, Jan February hum kahenge it has been sideways. Um, so you could probably see Ashok Leland moving up Mahindra and Mahindra. How it looks like if you are planning to do analysis, it's already jumping for the last two to three weeks. Tata Motors, it's a bit mixed uh, view, but given the passenger vehicles that they have also are focused, you know, electric vehicle, um focus i think this is the kind of try uh sorry this is startup power Tata motors is what we want to see yeah so a clear jump uh, might come in as more you know commercial vehicles are sold and people are getting more excited about electric vehicles or so there is a clear i would say supply area here and given what the candlestick uh, shape is telling me, this a hammer, jump which is going to enter this supply zone, uh, maybe this time the target is close to 600. So I'm invested in Tata Motors. I really feel the story uh, you know, that Tata is developing is, is probably going to give good, good competition um, in various sectors. So Motor auto sector, the Tata Cafe times a lag rather than maybe the next few years belong to Tata. So let's see how it shapes up. But uh, that's what the news is coming in that the relatively strength is being developed in the commercial vehicle segment. Any thoughts, any views so before I move on to the next one? Yeah, uh, Rahul ji. Good to see you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry, I was a bit late today. No problem. Aapke aane se pehle, humne BLS or Delphi discuss kar liya. Aapke do favorite stocks. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go okay, the recording at that time. Achha, I have one question uh, since I'm talking. Uh, yes. We were talking about Agri last week. Yes. And uh, this week there was this big news about Ruchi Soya going debt free. And now hmm. I think there was a huge volume over the last three days. So mm-hmm. earlier mm-hmm. it was considered sort of an operator stop. Mm-hmm. Gaya, niche gaya. Mm-hmm. So operator do we enter, mm-hmm. what do we do now? Sir, volume to Javardas Thai is shape technical uh sort of I think uh, here there is enough, I would say, ammunition for the stock to go up again, right? Because it was uh, reached level of 1400 and if there is news that now it is totally debt free, right? So, if you this level, it will be made. And this is the strong level. If I just draw the zone for you, this is a rally based drop uh, uh, marking that I'm doing. right? And uh, right. since we are at a weekly level, let's mark it as a weekly supply. So, if you have a bar bar, you can see that this is a good news. Because this type of volume is not a good thing. Exactly. And I mean, it just. Uh, makes the other volume uh, columns so small mujhe is pe thoda confidence aa raha hai given that ye develop bhi ho rahi thi to insiders ne to apna kaam yahi pe kar liya ab public ki knowledge mein aa rahi hai to monday ko ya uh, coming week mein ye jump dikhna chahiye aur kahin nahi tak to uh, 1100 1200 ke levels tak to pahunch sakta easily but you have to be very careful with these ruchi so <laughs> kind of stocks because you know koi na koi dump we are interested in this level. We have seen this level. I can use an anchored VWAP to be very, very sure ki what is the price levels coming in. So, this Bollinger Band ka bhi level is 900. It's a 10% jump. So, it's a man. Yes, but uh, again, it's, it's a bit risky because your stop loss is very wide. Right now, there is no stop, gap in the middle to. Keep a stop loss. Gaya to pura gaya and then upar gaya to 1200. Yes, but this is sort of a. Dekho, this tarike se expansion chal rahi hai ruchi soya. Main wo har jagah ghusse hi ja rahe hain. I don't think it's gonna like crash like crazy. If you, even if it does come back to 600 ka levels, hold on karne mein koi burai nahi hai. 
if I, I mean it does have good market share at the end of the day it's giving good uh, competition right so if you just are careful about your swings 10% move ka expectation rakho what i can further suggest since it's a daily chart monday ko agar yahan se move aati hai just keep your stop loss till this level so this is the previous sure. gap that uh, was created if i can highlight this this is the gap that was created so yahan se agar fir se andar isme jaane lagta hai then you know probably there's something shaky and then it has to turn again and all but uh, beyond that i think लुक एट द वॉल्यूम और उस दिन कितने बजे आई है ये वॉल्यूम इज प्रॉब्ली आफ्टर वन ओ क्लॉक दैट यू सी इट्स हैपनिंग इट शुड मूव अप ऑन मंडे गिवन गिवन द स्पीड एट व्हिच व्हिच इट वाज जंपिंग अराउंड सो लेट्स लेट्स कीप अ वॉच ऑन दिस आई विल ऐड इट टू माय गेम प्लान लिस्ट आल्सो सो रुचि इज देयर विद वॉल्यूम आई एम ऐड इट मूविंग ऑन this was a commercial vehicle thank you for bringing up uh, maybe this is a trade for this week <laughs> uh, rahul ji so within auto there is something uh, that i further noticed tire companies stocks were jumping uh, one of them jk tire so this is i think what has happened on friday and there was news two weeks back also which i shared in the group that jk tire has launched something called the puncher guard a tire so it basically it automatically repairs the puncture it has some kind of a chemical inside it uh this is the jump which we saw when this news came in abhi kya news hui hai that the md anshuman has bought shares you know at a certain price i, I you know can you can google it and check what price it is but because they have bought uh, close to i think uh, few lakh shares this kind of a jump is coming in so if an insider like an md is feeling that such a price is good to enter the stock i think that sort of giving a hint to the retailers also uh, ki isme kuch hone wala hai and uh, since the company insiders are buying it so they might also be looking at it so this is just jk tire uh, maybe it could have been a one off case seat tires mein bhi ek acha jump aa gaya hai friday ko so i am hoping ki ultimately auto has to revive and auto will revive only through its uh, suppliers to so, pehle suppliers ko orders jate hain tabhi oems kuch sell out karte hain to agar tire stocks mein jump aa raha hai so whether electric vehicle non electric vehicle whether for replacement purpose i mean after all the country is back on track now if they need to change their tires uh, does it have to do anything with the oems right तो टायर स्टॉक्स जंप हो रहे हैं दैट कुड बी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फ्रॉम अ प्योर टेक्निकल स्टैंड पॉइंट इफ आई शो यू द चार्ट हियर इज अ स्नैपशॉट प्रीवियसली जहां से जंप आया था सी एट में इट इज वेरी सिमिलर टू व्हाट वी डिस्कस्ड लास्ट टाइम इन गोदरेज कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स सो गोदरेज कंज्यूमर प्रोडक्ट्स में भी ऐसा ही था कि देर वॉज अ एरिया ऑन द चार्ट वेयर वी सॉ ह्यूज वॉल्यूम एंड ह्यूज जंप एंड द स्टॉक हैड रीच्ड एट द सेम प्लेस सो लेट मी क्विकली टेक यू बैक हियर this is what i was talking about gotrich consumer products and we saw a jump uh, i would not be surprised agar c a tire may be aisa hi ho kyunki let me show you the actual chart uh, it has hit a supply zone monthly supply mein ghus chuka hai monthly demand sorry monthly demand not supply it has hit this level okay and uh, sorry and it's uh, this is already a performance from previous week and actually me dekhe jaye to ye move aayi kab hai previous week to nahi bolte hue sirf friday ko ye move aayi hai with such huge volumes so it clearly suggests now probably a turn around is happening and uh, it could very well probably be moving up the ladder uh, if i draw the fibonacci which i think some of you know how to draw it's going to let's see what are the numbers coming in mm. this uh, lower uh, lower movement uh, of the graph is uh, rsi or what yes that's rsi okay and then it's moving up so 
So I think uh, reaching 0.5 for uh, CET should not be an issue. In fact, uh, there is a nice level here. If the last stop is coming, then probably there is no supply here. After that, this 0.33 line is above this 0.33 line. So here is supply here. And eventually, this is 2000. But what we actually need to track is whether reversals have actually come on this or not. So 2020, I don't think we are in a situation that was so bad that before the COVID restrictions ke announcement, ke ho gayi thi, the stock had reversed from 600. Now it is if it's reversing from 900. I think that's fair. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to try out uh, CIAT for this week or 10 days. Another move should come. अगर इतना अच्छा jump Friday को ही आया है, तो कुछ ना कुछ Monday को भी या Tuesday को आ जाना चाहिए. So uh, that is another observation that I had. Um, anybody else having any views on tire companies? Yeah. yeah I, I bought JK tires last week. Um, awesome. Did you buy before this move or when was it? Yeah, yeah, before the move. Okay. Um, so I was sort of looking at on the beaten down stocks uh, mm. in the auto sector mm. um, and trying to play them. So okay. JK Tire has the lowest valuation. It's a single digit valuation. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to see some good rally in these stocks. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, what about uh, MRF and all? What do you feel? Uh, they're all good. They've all corrected from their highs, uh, mm. but valuation wise, I was comfortable with JK Tire. So if you go to screener and just do a quick uh, check, you'll see that uh, JK mm. Tire is crazy valuation. I don't know why. <laughs> it's a good company. Crazy uh, valuation. Are you saying it's overvalued or undervalued? I'm sorry. It's undervalued. It's undervalued. So look at the PE, ideal PE. Ideal PE to enter, right? It's 10. <laughs> am I looking at Jacket yes. Tire? Yes, I am looking at Jacket Tire. So, amazing. Uh, so, company is expected to give good quarter. Let's see who are the other folks in this arena. We should look at uh, MRF. We should look at Apollo Tires and all. So, is there an opportunity? I'm looking at Apollo Tires. So, on Friday, again, 3% move. See, when there is a move only in one stock that you know, you can say, okay, it's one off some operator, some random guy, some FII is entered. But if there is a push across, you know, uh, company, then across the major players, I think there is some hint. And that's what we call it as a theme, right? So whenever we've been discussing theme, we, we just don't look at one stock, you know, we look at multiple stocks. And if that kind of a push is happening or that kind of a fall is happening, I think that's a sustainable one. So CET me agya hai jump. JK mein aa gaya hai. Apollo mein thoda sa kam aaya hai. Uh, maybe because there is a gap zone here also. So let's look at this gap. Yeah. So there is a gap which was formed uh, in the month of February. It's trying to tackle that at the moment. Uh, but beyond that, I think if uh, this uh, move is supposed to come, it will come across these uh, uh, tire companies and those which haven't moved so far are of course Apollo. Thoda sa movement MRF mein dikhai diya given the shape of the candle, you know, you could say that. Which are the other guys in uh, Goodyear? We can have a look. Bal Krishna Industries. Is Bal Krishna into tires? Does anybody know? Yeah. What, what brand do they sell? Not I, sure. uh, I, I haven't seen any, any B, you know, BKT tire. Okay, it is BKT tires. Wow. Anyway, so we can have a look. Bal Krishna. On uh, Friday, that there was a slight jump, not too much. Um, the other one we said. One second, guys. Mm, Jake, no, good year. I think uh, most of us probably have some favorite tire companies in mind, which we like to, you know, or we've seen in our uh, cars. So there's good volume. There's definitely good volume on Friday.
but uh, slightly downwards uh, for good year i'll i have to do a technical view on this uh, isme koi na koi to gadbad ghotala wala hai that you know probably pushes stock price down there is huge uh, lower shadows that we are seeing in fact the stock has not been in existence for a very long time so if you are careful only then you know invest in good year otherwise the safer ones i think we know jk um jk cit and apollo right from a valuation point of view what uh, pe was telling us um i think from a graham number also this is pretty interesting i would be interested in investing in this yeah cool so let's go back uh, gandharv can i ask you something since you are on the call how's your doctor reddy cell port doing I took a future trade from a bullish move. Oh, sorry. Move came, I booked it. Yeah, actually, it came very nice move, right? So yes, Friday I booked it. How much are you making? What percentage, if you can share? Seven percent. Seven percent. Okay, so when did you enter? Uh, the trade was for ten days. okay so if you booked it on friday so somewhere early just sorry i'm looking at weekly now here okay so somewhere here right this is where you entered yes. okay so it was stagnant i don't think the move just started to come in um okay i i mean i still feel that it could probably go up till here but it's okay as long as you are happy with your profits that's what we want so we had discussed uh, fno i think uh, strategy also for uh, dr reddy's which had come in fact if i want to show you how are ac players something which we discussed two weeks back how are our ac players performing uh interesting we had created a list of that so so look blue star I'll give you two weeks performance blue star jump jumping up like crazy uh one other one which i really like is jc hsc so johnson hitachi so hitachi operates under this name johnson controls hitachi this is an amazing move that came just last week or so uh related players i think within this arena would be the cable companies and all so we should look at that also the polycap uh the move came 10% move just came last week um boltas i'm expecting further jumps Whirlpool, since uh, it is slightly low on the curve, should show me some jumps. So it's trying to give me some reversals. So all that I think uh, is panning out well. So if you keep a track on the themes which were discussed uh, a couple of weeks back, also I think they are shaping up very very well. So let's move on from here. Um, did anybody take advantage of this? By the way, the AC players. Oh no. Whirlpool. Yeah. You invested in Whirlpool, Jawakar? Yeah. Awesome. So it's, uh, there's enough room for that. Uh, Somebody, I think last time had mentioned Amber. So Amber is still not uh, giving me that kind of growth. Um, which else? Uh, which one would you be looking at? Crompton. I am hoping because uh, there was a merger that so this one should go up. So if not air conditioning, I think fans should definitely. uh be the focus for this summer symphony the cooler maker is already jumping you know like crazy so if i give you the weekly numbers here wow so the jump 7% 3% so on um i think it's a interesting space to keep a watch on what i would want to stress upon here is that electric utilities or the power players uh, in this uh, you know in our industry they are jumping they are going to provide the power supply and the uh, electronic consumer products you know like voltas whirlpool which we just talked about i think there is enough demand for that and maybe the summer is going to add it to it there's pent up demand also sitting in it so keep a watch on this power and uh, electronic consumer products uh, i'm still quite hopeful so just uh, moving on from there uh, i 
again was looking at coal coal india you know as a stock the only stock that comes to my mind i am still invested i feel the move has started and uh, going to probably yeah is going to probably further go up here uh, close to the previous levels at least 200 levels and all so that is something you can keep a watch and given that uh, it has is going to hit it for the second time and if there is enough volume i think it could break it out from there since it's already crossed the three moving averages um <clears throat> this could be the biggest move for coal india so i am keeping a thorough watch on it i have some other markings if you are familiar with them you will probably uh, you know understand that there is a supply sitting at 200 the next supply is sitting at 260 there is a bottleneck at 241 so these are some of the levels that you can look at and uh, coal india continues to be my favorite within energy so that's uh, coming from when i see the commodities nickel you know we know we talked about it uh, i think the player that will take advantage of that is vedanta vedanta also i have for my few clients let's see the performance very nice so vedanta has moved up in the last 3 weeks uh, 9% here 6% here so good 14% uh, or so you know jump coming in so keep a watch on that i think the underlying um, thought between behind that is that Nik- vedanta is now the only nickel producer in india so if nickel prices are going up and there is application of nickel i think uh, in electric vehicles and so on that there could be a jump so coal i'm what i'm looking at nickel is what i'm looking at uh, going switching to the fii dii activities i think uh, fii is tried their best to bring down the markets again on 7th of april but our dii have been doing a great job trying to keep it up so if you see the numbers um, not too much of buying coming in from the fii's but yes uh, more from the dii's uh, stepping in where exactly were they bullish let's have a look so this week entirely i think belonged to the financial sector and something which we discussed you know extensively last time that if a move has to come within nifty it will be driven by the financial sector so i was talking about this move if uh, of course it's been updated till last time it was here if it has to move up back to 18000 18500 19000 it cannot do it without the help of the financial sector and financial services being in the lead previously the move that came in in nifty was because of it now it has been i i would say i just wanted to show you this um, slide how it has slid down it used to be making all time highs i think till january or even december can you see the gap from the 52 week high it's close now more than 10% it's reaching the level where probably uh, financial services and reality are the bottom two and this is a scary situation because even globally and let's let's represent uh, the global index through nasdaq nasdaq has also been falling whenever uh, you know the global indexes fall nasdaq is probably the one which falls in maximum and if i show you uh, the slide for friday in fact in every time i do you uh, uptick in the sectoral moves tech is probably always lagging behind now on a friday when all the stocks all the uh, indexes were moving up uh, after the good news that uh, you know rbi has uh, decided not to touch the repo rates tech did not even move right so our next hope continues to be financial sector and within that financial services so the bullishness uh, activity of fii's i was talking about came in these of course we know about the hdfc bank and hdfc i mean those who invested are probably crying by now uh, that jump that came in these two stocks actually has uh, been wiped out completely if i can show you those the merger i think uh, is more of a it's probably just to cover up some inefficiencies internally 
of course it's going to create uh, one of the largest private sector you know banking corporation uh, but see this is the jump that came in and then hdfc is back here hdfc bank again probably the same story the jump and then again it's back uh, you could see a small jump here but the kind of news that had come in the hype that it had created i don't think uh, analysts are feeling that kind of synergies in that kind of merger so uh, this was the situation on monday of course uh, you had your fertilizer stocks also uh, consumer electronics which i have been talking about power sector i have been talking about FII, RDIs were investing in that, and then you had some energy companies again, power sector, and then the defense, which we just recently discussed, um, and of course FMCG, uh, Godrej Consumer Product, where they probably were not too keen. Um, you know, they're stepping out of uh, some uh, laggard players uh, within the financial segment, and. Uh, not too clear of a focus on the bearishness but on the neutral focus we saw some fno activity by fiis dis in metropolis metropolis is a stock which has probably been hit hard for a very long time and it's probably now showing signs of reversal so i like this i'm invested in this it's a stock which has hit a monthly demand um Monthly demand is pretty wide, but if you see the Fibonacci numbers, the reversal is happening from, from 0.382. Um, last month, I think, was the case where the reversal was visible. This time is where the rally is visible. So when is the rally that did come on? Came on 5th of, or this came on Tuesday. So 5th of April, uh, it came. It's probably still holding back. Uh, another move. In fact, what it's done, what it's achieved, it's closed this previous gap zone. So it created a gap when it had fallen last time. Now it has closed it. It's going up. Uh, I'm quite hopeful uh, that Metropolis Healthcare, you know, if it's uh, supposed to go up, this is probably a time when it should. Another one is where we've discussed Max Healthcare, where FII's had been pumping in money. Um, this is how it has moved. It's uh, it had shown me good volumes on 31st March. Hasn't gone down below that level. So I'm keeping a watch on it. If it uh, moves up from, I mean, this is the messy area. I would say if it starts jumping from here, I think we should uh, be watching this stock also. Max Healthcare is a, is a stock. If I can show you the screens that I have, where um both dii's and fii's i think uh, had been increasing their share so that is something i i think i also keep a watch on it's no longer there i think uh, there are more stocks which have uh, got into the list but previously i think we had discussed this uh, maybe three weeks back or so um that uh, max healthcare is one of the focus for for the fii let's have a look the share holding out here. I can. Yeah, so this is how DIIs have been increasing their share. If you can see, it's quite good. Uh, okay, so this is what has happened. FIIs have probably maintained it or reduced it slightly. So I, you know, I've been keeping a watch on this kind of activity. Um, where DIIs are moving, I think that's also a positive sign. They are doing their research and we can simply replicate that. So Metropolis coming in this week, uh, the jumps were pretty interesting. ICICI general, I think insurance uh, also moved up. Anybody having any background in insurance? Anybody? So nice move uh, coming in ICICI uh, general. Let's see. And it's obviously probably making a V-shape. What's the target? Let's uh, try to analyze that. 
I'll jump to monthly first to see if there is something which was clearly an area for reversal. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a nice rally. This is a nice rally. It's a very according to uh, it's pretty big demand zone if it can be called. I'm not too sure uh, if this is something I would be interested in because just too many base candles here. And even if it is coming out, it's probably still stuck in this. And uh, it does come out. Sorry, if it does come out here, it's probably going to get stuck again. At 1470 levels and 1500 levels, we'll probably ignore why uh, these guys are doing it. They are doing it. Uh, FIDIs are doing it in the FNO segment. So they are probably they want to take advantage of smaller moves. I don't think there's a very big move uh, sitting in ICICI um, general insurance company. So that will be my quick view. I'm coming back to. Nifty, Nifty has moved up. The target obviously continues to be 18, uh, 300, 400. And if I look at the super trend, I think it's uh, 18,600. Uh, when I look at the open interest, the PCR, this is an interesting PCR. Have a look. For the monthly expiry, 1.45, which is mm -hmm. clearly suggesting bullishness uh, in Nifty on a monthly basis. But this particular week, and I think this is a truncated week, uh, 15th of April should be a holiday. Uh, I should check it. So, itni zada expectation is week. Only day three. Only I'm three sorry, days. three. Oh, there is Thursday also off? Oh my yeah, god. Thursday is also off. So, Wednesday is the uh, expiry. So what this data is telling me is this particular week probably people are going away or taking time off or whatever. It's not going to show that jump. But from the next week onwards, I am pretty sure that if this PCR achieve karna hai, Nifty, then the jump will come. You should see the next Monday. So rather than 11th, 18th of April should be where the buzz is. Uh, no, it has to be 18. Yeah. So that I'm feeling that this kind of a structure to SI ho sakta hai ki jab itna time hi nahi ho logon ke paas, I mean, investors ke paas nifty ko upar le jane ke liye. So, teen din hi hai, to zada koi activity uh, expected karna muskil hai. Is week mein sideways expectation is what I'm looking at. But overall, if you are planning, I think uh, the PCR is telling me bullishness in nifty. For this month, ATR uh, PCR are also quite good. Just look at the ATR PCR for the month. I mean, this kind of ATR 3.3, so ATR PCR, I have never seen it. So I strongly believe this some solid. Uh, I mean, maybe it's because of the RBI keeping the rates uh, flat. Correct. That's, that's what's it. And uh, we'll see how the moves come. Bank Nifty, maybe. Targets are still uh, to be achieved. Uh, Bollinger Band ka target bollo, Super Trend ka target bollo. What is the PCR telling me? PCR is something similar, of course, slightly subdued. Uh, 1.07 hai. Um, so this week, we think that the financial sector will be underplay karega ki given that uh, last week there was so, so much of good news around it, but that did not pan out very well. And... Um, Maybe it flows further flows like that this week, and because of this financial. Because uh, you know, the band banned, you know, RBI has given a band now of DEF yeah, and upwards, mm. like Bollinger Band mm. of point point five point two five point two five. Right. So which which will provide the liquidity to the market. Okay. So when the they are balancing the liquidity to the market, so when the liquidity to the market is to be balanced. Then only the Nifty will rise up. So bank Nifty ka kya view rahega aapka sir is week? Bilkul upar rahega, upar jayega. Upar rahega, okay. Ki mere ko jo data suggest kar raha hai ki side or downwards ke direction dik raha hai. Kyunki jo initial uh, excitement thi uh, because of the merger and kafi saare stocks uth rahe the bank Nifty mein. Aur jis type ka ATR PCR change dik raha hai mujhe. 
एटलीस्ट बैंक निफ्टी में कुछ मुझे जंप नहीं दिख रहा और ऐसी कोई न्यूज अगर कोई है तो आई थिंक वो सारी बाहर आ चुकी हैं लाइक आई थिंक बंधन बैंक टेकिंग आई डी एफ सी समथिंग गोइंग ऑन येस बैंक आई थिंक आप लोगों ने शायद सुना होगा येस बैंक में भी कुछ चेंजेस आए हैं फैक्ट्रो जो उसमें आप जब एफ आई डी आई कर रहे थे डिस्कस तो एक पॉइंट मेरे दिमाग में आता है लेफ्ट टू शेयर इट आई वांट यू यूज़ ऑन इट कि एफ आई अभी एफ आई जा कर रहे हैं अगर गिर रहे हैं नीचे डी आई इज मोर देन वेल दे आर गोइंग की एक स्टोरी बनकर आ रही थी कि कुछ ना कुछ इसमें पीई ग्रुप कुछ स्टेक ले रहा है कोटक कोटक बैंक भी कुछ पैसे इसमें डालने वाला है देर इज एन रेटिंग अपग्रेड फॉर येस बैंक इनफैक्ट येस बैंक का अगर आप मूव देखोगे लास्ट वीक क्या हुआ है इट्स बिन क्वेट सिग्निफिकेंट रेट दुकान व्हाट्स हैपन ऑन वेंसडे अ नाइस मूव ऑफ 13 परसेंट बट वेयर डज इट स्टैंड कंपेयर टू द ओवरऑल स्कीम ऑफ थिंग यू बी सरप्राइज इट्स नथिंग नथिंग फ्रॉम वेयर इट हैड कम डाउन सो 4950 के ऊपर जब तक नहीं जाता विच इज आई थिंक द फर्स्ट मूविंग एवरेज दैट इट नीड्स टू टैकल ऑन अ मंथली लेवल देयर इज लॉट ऑफ कोनो चैलेंजेस आउट देयर सो दैट्स मैं कुछ खास है नहीं मुझे बैंकिंग uh, में कोई मर्जर इमीडिएटली कोई दूसरा अनाउंस नहीं होने वाला टेक ओवर सारे सामने हमें आ रहे हैं ही यस बैंक में जो न्यूज थी उसमें भी कुछ जंप आ गया बट यस बैंक कैन नॉट चेंज anything for the overall uh, nifty or bank nifty uh, answering your question sir uh, ye wali move hame monday ko dikhi thi i'm going to let it be the way it is because hame pata hai ki performance kaisi rahi apart from that i have talked about where were fiidi is investing they were investing in power sector uh, consumer electronics jo bhi humne bola polycap havels voltas in fact havels bhi acche se upar aa raha hai so let's go Yeah. So when I look at Havels, volume bhi aa rahi hai Havels mein. This kind of a jump, it has crossed its moving averages. So koi next level ka agar aap weekly supply is pe dekh sakte ho somewhere yahan pe 1400 ka koi I think can line bhi yahi se ja rahi hai. Uh, these could be the levels, and it's I think quite obvious if you see that there would be demand for uh, Havel products and all. So लेट्स क्विकली चेक हाउ आर द परफॉर्मेंस इन फंडामेंटल दो क्वार्टर से तो अच्छा ही कर रहा है अभी सर पी रेशियो डेफिनेटली बहुत हाई है सो यू हैव टू बी अ बिट केयरफुल कि लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए तो एकदम से इसको लेके मत बैठ जाना सो दैट्स अ एरिया व्हिच दे आर डेफिनेटली फोकस्ड ऑन आई थिंक एनर्जी कंटीन्यूअस टू बी देयर पावर बार-बार आ जाता है टूरिज्म भी है तो डेल्टा कॉप मैंने काफी टाइम पहले ग्रुप में भी डाला था डेल्टा कॉप इज इनटू कैसिनोस एंड ऑल उसमें कुछ मूवमेंट आई थी यहाँ पे आई थी 21 मार्च को अभी थोड़ा सा सबड्यूट चल रहा है बिकॉज इट इज हिट मंथली सप्लाई यहाँ से बट आई हैव नो डाउट एज पीपल यू नो गो बैक टू द रेगुलर एक्टिविटीज ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड यू नो गोइंग टू गोवा एंड प्लेइंग यू नो द कसिनो इट शुड मूव अप फ्रॉम हियर कितना अच्छे से 2020 से इतना अच्छे से ग्रो होता ही आ रहा है होता ही आ रहा है दिस वॉज अ पीरियड वेयर तो पॉज के यहाँ पे भी पॉज तो आएगा बट एक बार इस लेवल से बाहर निकल गया तो इट शुड बी गुड दिस इज गिवन अ गुड क्वार्टर लेट्स लुक एट द नंबर्स फॉर दिस क्वार्टर आल्सो थिंग्स शुड लुक क्वाइट राइट सो आई मीन एफ आई आई डी आई हैव स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन इट आप भी सोच सकते हो इन्वेस्ट करने का डिफेंस हमने देख लिया तो देर आर मोर एंड बेटर सेक्टर आई थिंक फाइनेंस के अलावा बैंकिंग के अलावा अगर आप चाहो you can look in those but nifty mein movement to tabhi expected hai jab banking stocks mein movement aayi correct that's the point hmm. so uh, beyond that agar main aapko picture dikhaun how the sector rotation has been happening something which was uh, you know lacking behind previously uh, was fmcg consumption and all that stuff i think that has changed slightly तो ऑटो भी थोड़ा सा इम्प्रूव हो रहा है फॉर दोज नॉट सीन दिस दिस इज वेयर दिस इज वेयर आर लीडर्स आर सिटिंग द डार्क ग्रीन बॉक्स दिस इज वेयर आर लगार्ड्स आर सिटिंग 
ये ऐसे सेक्टर्स हैं जो थोड़े ढीले चल रहे हैं अभी और परफॉर्मेंस इम्प्रूवमेंट हमें यहाँ पे दिख रही है लाइट ग्रीन में और परफॉर्मेंस डिटीरिएशन हमें इसमें दिख रही है लाइट पिंक या लाइट रेड जो भी आपकी स्क्रीन पे आ रहा है तो वट वी हैव सीन फ्रॉम लास्ट वीक एफ एम सी जी हैज जम्प्ड ऑटो हैज ऑल्सो मूव अप स्लाइटली तो ऑटो में थोड़ा सा इनिशिएशन दिखाई दे रहा है विच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस एफ एम सी जी में भी हमने देखा है कि कुछ कुछ मूवमेंट आई इट हैज कम इन दिस बॉक्स That's also good sign. Power तो यहीं पे यहीं बैठा हुआ है काफी टाइम से मेटल भी यहीं बैठा हुआ है सो देर आर समेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मेटल स्टॉक्स दैट इफ यूर कीम वी कैन डिस्कस बियॉन्ड दैट मुझे जो जंप चाहिए अगेन आई एम सेंग फाइनेंशियल या बैंकिंग सेक्टर में कोई भी ग्रोथ आने से पहले ओवरऑल ग्रोथ आने से पहले निफ्टी बैंक के इंडेक्स में निफ्टी पी एस यू आपको फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज में जंप दिखने चाहिए क्यों क्योंकि पहले लोग छोटे लोन लेना शुरू करते हैं so i am pretty sure if i um, ask divakar you know how are uh, these stocks doing he might be able to name especially uh, mahindra and mahindra financials you were talking about divakar few weeks back uh, that it should stem up and there are other stocks also you know jo ya to commercial vehicles ke liye uh, loan de rahe hain ya bajaj finance which they are giving out loans for consumer product consumer durable products those should give me a jump so we can have a look at that i can ask divakar also to share some light this yeah. is a point is aur dhyan rakhna padega ji ki inflation factor this time policy is more biased towards the inflation rather than growth so inflation factor dikhte hue loan sugar aapke zyada niklenge tabhi money flow hoga तो ये देखिए सर ये है महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा फाइनेंस जो बेसिकली आई थिंक ट्रैक्टर्स को फाइनेंस कर रहा है इसमें अच्छी ग्रोथ आपको दिख रही है पिछले चार पांच हफ्ते से yeah. अगर इसमें एक टेक्निकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से ट्रायंगल देखूं तो इस ट्राइंग टू एंटर बैक दिस ट्रायंगल एंड अगर इसमें कुछ ब्रेकआउट आएगा तो इस लेवल के बाद ही आएगा जहाँ ये ब्लू लाइन है तो इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग जंक्चर पॉइंट भी हमारा वहीं पर ही है इट्स बिन स्टक दर एम्पल रूम फॉर ग्रोथ बजाज फाइनेंस भी देख लेते हैं तो हम लोग के पास रिजर्व बहुत है ओपन मार्केट ऑपरेशन सब धीरे धीरे बढ़ रहे हैं तो इसलिए ना ये आपका लोन्स का जो इन्फ्लेशन फैक्टर बढ़ रहा है इसलिए मनी मनी ज्यादा लोन लेना पड़ेगा ना सर यस यस यही टाइम है लोन लेने का भी तो इंटरेस्ट रखे हुए This is, I think, the the final chance that that RBI is giving to to economy yeah. to kick start. Yeah. Abhi loan mm-hmm. liya to, I think baki to fir mushkil ho Matlab, abhi, abhi it has to be up by 50 basis points. 50 basis points ka ho ke in two point. ho sakta hai, next next chance iska jo hai, neutral ho, to uske baad 25 bigger loan Quantities we said uh, disperse हो रही हैं. I think there's something. I mean, if you put it. Canfin Homes में भी कुछ बहुत अच्छी move आई है. Yes, sorry, Canfin. Chola Finance में I think. Sorry. तो हमने देखा था कहीं पे. Yeah, Chola Finance में Friday को इतना अच्छा job आया है. It is probably, you know, given a better breakout than the previous times. Uh, what is Chola Finance actually doing? What kind of leasing? So I see Divakar, you have unmuted yourself. Please uh, add into the discussion wherever you feel. Yeah, Local finance goes on, Hanji. Yeah, the second run. Uh, so see, the market leaders were Bajaj Finance, um, right? And then Chola Mandalam Finance was also doing good uh, during the COVID time. So now all these second run NBFCs and uh, private banks will start performing well. So uh, you know. I own M&M Finance. I own. I mean, sixty percent of the portfolio for me is like financials. Mm. Uh, LIC Housing Finance, M&M Finance, Bandhan mm. Bank, IDFC First Bank, um, Bajaj Finance. These are all stocks yeah. which I think will do well for the next say twelve months. And the mm. sales pitch for you know the bankers will be Abhi Lelo Loan. बाद में 
this uh, presentation or the pitch that you just mentioned ki abhi kar lo nahi to agle saal to aapko mehanga hi lagega and then you'll repent तो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सॉरी इकोनॉमी को किक स्टार्ट करने का इससे अच्छा तरीका कोई है ही नहीं है ना आई सीरियसली बिलीव दैट फाइनेंशियल सेक्टर हैज बीन लैगिंग बिहाइंड फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम एंड गवर्नमेंट की तरफ से भी इनफ दे शुड बी इनफ सपोर्ट इन फैक्ट पीएसयू बैंक इंडेक्स शुड आल्सो बी मूविंग अप इन दैट डायरेक्शन बिल्कुल ठीक एब्सोल्युटली राइट करेक्ट वो दो का दिमाग का स्टेट इज करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली कि अभी ले लो एंड जो एक लिफ्ट दिखा रहा है टू प्लस टू प्लस थ्री फाइव का लिफ्ट का उसमें फिर आगे जाकर और इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ेगा पर बिफोर आई मूव ऑन टू एनी अदर इंडेक्स और स्टॉक कार्ड पावर क्योंकि एज अ सेक्टर ही इतना अच्छा फेवर्ड है तो पावर फाइनेंस दिवाकर हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट दैट वन देयर इज सम मूव दिस वीक ऑफ कोर्स नॉट दैट मच बट फाइनेंस एंड पावर का कॉम्बिनेशन कैसा लग रहा है आई आई थिंक इट शुड डू वेल Um, look uh, at the P ratio. Look at the P ratio. Two point three four. Yeah, that's surprising. So, so there is power yeah. finance. There is REC as well, right? Uh, Net right profit margins are pretty good. Like, look at the twenty 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 four percent PFC. Ka, I am feeling already quite excited about this. Interest coverage is not that great. Debt to equity, I mean, oh, sorry, it's a banking, so I should not, I should not look at it. Uh, yeah. Are you sorry? Which one did you say? Are you see? Yeah. What's the full name? Rural Electrification Which Corporation. Is it the BSC or is it, does it have an NSC also? The NSC is there. NSC. Are you see? Rural Electrification. Yeah, Rural Electrification. Nice quarter performances. Just have a look. Uh, ah, yeah. year on year, be very good. Quarter on quarter, be very solid. Chal raha hai. Jump this week. Me, aaya hua hai. Uh, there is a nice weekly demand zone. Let's have a better view. Oh, and this doesn't go up much. Kya stock split aaja tha? Isme kya aaja tha? Samajh me nahi aaya. Why? So many years, it's uh, it's just stuck between. Does it have uh, FNO? I think it does, right? तो गुड कैंडिडेट फॉर एफ एनओ ऊपर जाए तो कॉल सेल कर दो नीचे आए तो पुट सेल कर दो बड़ी फील या आई आई थिंक इट जस्ट इट जस्ट डजंट गो बियॉन्ड दिस 200 220 नंबर राइट या एंड आई थिंक इट्स फॉर सम रीजन इट्स नॉट मूविंग यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट बट आई थिंक ग्रोथ इज देयर इन द स्टॉक इन द फंडामेंटल्स या या व्हेन आई लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी PE ratio again very low. Wow. Now why why do we really underestimate these guys? I haven't seen businesses which are earning twenty three percent. Yeah, there's something this, going on here, but nobody has is... identified it. So I think probably we are looking at a huge <laughs> huge rally, right? From stock PE like two point six nine types. Uh, yeah. These stocks should be rallying like. 2x 3x from here yeah yeah so it looks at net margins so i'm just confirming it from trading view also net margins have been in that range 20% uh i think we should ignore the debt to equity part i mean given they are into financing right uh eps growth is also quite good and if we considering india india still needs a lot of electrification in the rural parts uh this growth should continue wow i'll add it to my game plan list <laughs> so we have two names uh, that have come up uh, here one is rec and the other one was pfc probably do yeah. some more research around that um when i when i see the full set of uh, financial services performances here uh, maybe we should also look at au bank and bajaj au bank would be that small loan bank right so personal loan giving all that uh, cold loans would it be wow this is the daily performance awesome 
guys again the smaller the loans i think the better the performance early the performance steps in so when i look at this uh, and there's a channel here the, uh, sort of the rural banks mm. like satin credit care was one of the stocks which uh, mm. i was looking at yeah yeah so sorry uh, au small finance do you believe in this story yeah yeah i do i do think so this okay, equitas so, also equitas so yeah. they are all the we call it the um, small finance banks right or the mfis microfinance yeah. institutions okay okay so let me spend some time maybe next week we'll do a proper list of this and share it um and see how the performance also happens this week if there is some potential because clearly this uh, the week gone by it's showing me some jumps in the small finance banks um, but uh, will it be sustainable i think that's something we need to check right with even small finance i think this is a one which is showing me a turn um it will be interesting to see if it comes out of this uh, zone uh, there are so many names out there i think uh, we should keep a watch it i believe uh, bajaj is clearly the leader in that whether it is through bajaj fins uh, bajaj finance bajaj holdings you know we should keep a watch on these stocks in particular yeah uh anybody wants to discuss any individual stocks that we should see on any other theme i mean we have all these uh, sectors we can have a look at them and figure out some names uh, already discussed fmcg within that go through consumer products is doing great uh, we've looked at agri so of course the fertilizer stocks sugar stocks are doing great out here uh within within infra you would see the cement stocks which we have discussed some time back um so i think no no today i think said i'm just looking at what version no i haven't updated that version yet the last one sorry we are back so when we talked about cement company stocks uh, let's look at ambuja yeah the jump has come this week uh, the reversal we ample opportunities guys uh, that i see in grasim the biggest player here in this arena grasim there is enough moving on here uh, let's have a look at the daily performance yeah on friday the jump has come again so just just so with help me in lnt also when it comes sir lnt so usko contract acche mile hue hain uski loan book achhi hai bahut acha hai इस कहीं इसमें स्टक है अभी तक मूविंग एवरेजेस में इधर से बार बार बस एक आखिरी लेवल ही समझ लो अगर एक बार इधर से बाहर निकल आए फिर तो ऊपर जाएगा का है क्योंकि ये जब से ये फॉल आया है जिसने भी बड़े प्लेयर ने इसी तरह गिराया है आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर इट्स बीइंग ट्राइंग टू कम अप अम ओके इन विद इन सो इंफ्रा आल्सो इंक्लूड्स डिफेंस तो हमने बीडीएल व्हिच इज भारत डायनामिक्स एचएएल ये सब भी डिस्कस कर लिया है आई थिंक JK Cement, which we had earlier discussed, एक बार उसका भी देख लेते हैं परफॉर्मेंस जे के सीमेंट फैंटास्टिक समथिंग वी डिस्कस्ड थ्री वीक्स अगो डबल बॉटम बनाया उसने मंथली डिमांड के अंदर और अच्छे से भाग रहा है लिटरली भाग रहा है सो डूइंग वेरी वेल वी है टॉक्ट अबाउट सीमेंट कंपनी इज रिकवरी आपने इन्वेस्ट किया था सर नहीं हमने नहीं अभी हमने ओके ओके consumption story uh, continues to be good i think alok industries is in textiles wo chal raha hai humne bhi discuss kiya bhi tha ki there is some opportunity because of sri lankan crisis tea companies and textile companies uh, ka kuch fayda ho sakta hai so if i just look at the weekly performance bahut achhi performance di hai textile mein hai alok industries if you are keen um, there is ample room for growth in that as from uh, in banking sector which you said is low profile just now the icic is has got a strong hold uh icic abhi bhi sir uh, number 2 player hi rahega given you know jo uske leader sdfc icic management mein kuch crisis hua tha uski wajah se wo mm-hmm. bhi thoda sa niche chal badh gaya opportunity main kahunga icic bank mein hi kotak mein bhi ho sakti hai 
the the way Kotak has been jumping and it's a kind of a good player uh, which has been not properly valued. That's what I feel. So up. And the merging of access, wala jo hai wo, of city. वो तो है ही सर आई थिंक दैट्स ऑलरेडी बीन टेकन केयर बाय द मार्केट अच्छा ओके या देखो आपका एक्सेस जो है 2021 से इतना नीचे गिरा नहीं है मेरे को लगता है इनफैक्ट अगर कोई अच्छा प्लेयर चल रहा है तो एक्सेस ही चल रहा है ये अपने मंथली डिमांड जोन को अगर ये पार कर जाता तो बहुत ही अच्छा था एग्जांपल ग्रोथ ईयर पर इट Uh, 830 प्लस लेवल्स है 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 वीकली में 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 अभी अगर आप देखना चाहें Havels, Polycap, Tata Power, CG Power, all these continue to be. Adani Power is there. Big ones, yes. Adani Power, so hey. Renewables. एक इसमें मैं कहूँगा there is some interesting move happening. So sale, I believe, is about to give an even better breakout. अच्छा उसने jump दे दिया है already. So अगर मैं channel performance की बात करूँ, ये अगर ये यहाँ से निकलने वाला है. जो लग रहा है कि निकल जाएगा क्योंकि इस बारी काफी अच्छी ग्रीन कलर कैंडल्स आई जा रही हैं एंड इफ आई शो यू द डेली परफॉर्मेंस ऑन आई थिंक व्हाट इट इज ऑन वेंसडे देयर वाज अ नाइस जंप यहां से बस निकलने की देयर इज सेल के टारगेट्स कुछ हद तक लेट्स सी व्हाट कुड बी द टारगेट्स हियर इफ यू टेक अ लुक एट द द मेटल इंडेक्स एज़ वेल Yes. Mm-hmm. So, I think sale is probably a lagard. Um, yeah, so it's probably the opportunity, right? I mean, JSW yeah. steel. I want to show. I think there is probably something going on. JSW me. Oh. Oh. अच्छे से move आ रही है. आज की है. यहाँ पे रुकी है और फिर से एक green color की candle Friday को बन चुकी है. So I'm assuming it's now planning to cross this level, previous levels, जो इसको रोक के रखे हुए थे, and uh, probably is going to make all-time highs, new highs यहाँ पे 810 तक जा सकता है इसका. And uh, as suggested, let's have a look at CNX Metal. What is happening in CNX Metal? Let's in fact uh, keep a watch on all the index that we have. Yeah, CNX Metals continued to be on top on Friday. So all-time highs to be made. And where will it go? Let's see. If it goes out, then it will be very, very interesting. Thousand thousand. Followed now. See what has happened on Friday. FMCG index be wapis upar aa raha hai. So you can you know, just imagine ki how. Who are the big players in Pakistan? Unilever, Nestle, uh, Dabur, Marico, all these guys. So how uh, this guy has moved out from where it got stuck? So you probably have to pay attention that it was actually a very bad down. It has made a nice double bottom even below its monthly uh, demand. So from there, down, it has done something. 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 EMA perspective. So let's quickly have a look. इसका पहला target तो यही है monthly EMA twenty तक पहुंचना two two five nine. यहाँ तक पहुंच जाता है तो then there is this zone और इसके अंदर two four five one है. इसमें मैं तो कहूँगा accumulate कर लेना सबसे अच्छा होता है. वापस अगर ऊपर चला जाता है तो twenty eight hundred तक का scope है. So that's uh, Hindustan Unilever के products I don't think anybody stops buying. Even if the prices increase 10-15 rupees or so, so I think that continues to be an opportunity. Let's quickly check other stocks. Dabur may be. एक अच्छा hammer बन चुका है monthly level पे और अब upward move आ रही है. There's a channel here also. Probably yeah. I think they are doing coinciding very well. Probably the growth is another 10%, 550. 
पे है 600 तक जा सकता है दैट्स समथिंग यू कैन एंजॉय मेरिको बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ऑयल पाम ऑयल एंड ऑल लेट्स सी इफ देयर इज ग्रोथ कमिंग इन कुछ पंगा है सुपर ट्रेंड से रुक चुका है स्टॉक इंडेक्स में अभी अभी बनना शुरू हुआ है प्रॉब्ली इट स्टेज हियर फॉर अ वाइल बिफोर इट स्टेप्स आउट बट देयर आर एम्पल यू नो नेम्स दैट वी कैन हैव अ लुक इन एफएमसीजी एनी अदर कंपनी दैट यू want to see an fmcg or any other index yes anyone so this is mangalore refineries mangalore refineries coming up again here so doing very good uh, movement in fact uh, also look at ioc ioc ne bhi kuch jump diya hai um There is some volume here which has pushed up. It's getting stuck in this uh, supply zone. Let me remove that for a minute. Without much volume, the jumps are coming in. Um, that means uh, low resistance levels. I think there's hardly anyone. If this continues, I think 131, 132 is a good target here also. Then we here. check the bank Nifty also. Yes, sir. was in 360 na hmm so what about bank nifty sir 60 it has reached 60 uh, 30 38 it is level there right so this has to reverse in fact agar aap dekho this red acha red candle ke baad ye dongle hai okay let's let's just compare the performance agar main uh, nifty with निफ्टी विद दिस लास्ट कोरिलेट वन ईयर की देखो वन ईयर की देखो वहीं का वहीं तो है हां लास्ट वन ईयर के आसपास बनाया था हाई अभी भी वहीं पे ही है इट हैजंट रियली मूव्ड नथिंग चेंज इन द बैंकिंग सेक्टर लिटरली करेक्ट अब अब इस तरीके से मूव आ रही है और वो भी नीचे जाके मंथली डिमांड में घुसने के बाद जो आई है मूव अगर ये सस्टेनेबल है आई एम रियली गोइंग टू बी यू नो गंगो अबाउट दिस then probably I'll buy some bank nifty futures क्योंकि nifty में भी growth इसी की वजह से आनी है I've been always been telling that's the point तो अभी जिस तरह के candle की shape बनी अभी तक तो कुछ ऐसा लग नहीं रहा the jump the weekly the weekly chart है yeah weekly chart the jump that has come that is still quite promising उसने एक और hmm. gap gap zone uh, मैं कहूँगा बना दिया let's mark that also here um, previously जो gap zone था वो तो खत्म ही हो गया ये बहुत पहले बनाया था जनवरी में उसको हम इग्नोर कर देते हैं दिस वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ द मंडे मूव तो ये यहां पे अब है इट इज ट्राइंग टू सस्टेन इन दिस गैप जोन यहां से वापस ऊपर आ जाता है तो बहुत अच्छी बात है ऑफ कोर्स देयर हैज टू बी मूव इन एचडीएफसी बैंक एंड एचडीएफसी बिकॉज़ दे आर सॉरी एचडीएफसी बैंक बिकॉज़ उसके अंदर काफी बड़ा स्टेक है मतलब परसेंटेज कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ दैट स्टॉक इज सिग्निफिकेंट तो उसके बिना तो होगी नहीं तो सम Uh, people analysts will start realizing some synergies in hdfc bank and kotak bank may a uh, access bank mein kuch aur movement hame dikhai deni chahiye and that's how this comes up again gets stuck at uh, previous highs and then moves on to new highs bank nifty ka highest kitna gaya tha was is the high high in 52 52 week ग्रुप I'll be happy to provide my inputs, but uh, I think a little bit of work or uh, home, I would say activity from your end will make things even better for you. Once you have skin in the game, only then you start following, then only you start learning. So whatever you done in the courses, if you're not able to apply, I think that will make the whole exercise futile. And so, so use these uh, discussions to pick up one or two stocks which you feel most excited about, and then analyze and discuss. Thank you all. You have a great uh, Sunday and. the rest of the weekend bye 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 thank, thank you everybody thanks so much thank you all thank you thank you so much sir
Bye-bye, sir.